hello folks uh, this is the question of 2017 uh, october november paper 41 and the question number is five uh, the first question is 5a1 is state coulomb coulomb's law for the force between two point charges so my main focus is not on the definitions of laws i want to go directly to the next question so in number three says that two point charges are situated in a vacuum and uh, separated by a distance r r the force between the charges is fc so now we have to draw on figure 5.1 this is figure 5.1 sketch a graph to show the variation of the force f between the charges with the separation x for a value from x equal to r to x equal to 4r so we have to uh, sketch a graph uh, for the variation distance from x equal to r to x equal to for r so when the distance is uh, r what you have is uh, we have is uh, the f electrostatic force between two charged bodies is proportional to one by uh, distance square so r square so that means uh, we have f is equal to some constant by r square or i can say if the distance becomes twice if the distance becomes twice the force becomes one by four so what happens here is at x equal to r we have got uh, the force is 1 fc when it is twice r the force should be uh, 1 by 4 of 1 by 4 of what it was here so 1 by 4 means it is uh, 0.25 so 0.25 so that means uh, here the force will be this is 0.2 this is 0.3 so 0.25 should be somewhere around here somewhere around here then 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 uh, when the distance is uh, 3r distance is 3r the, the 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 force should be it should be 1 by uh, 9 actually 1 by 9 so 1 by 9 will be in decimals it should be equal to i'm using my calculator right now so uh, it's equal to it's 0 0.11 so 0 0.11 should be here it is this is 0 0.1 this is 0 0.12 so 0 0.1 is like this somewhere around here somewhere here and similarly when it is 4 it is uh, 1 by 16 so 1 by 16 will be equal to will be equal to 0 0.0625 so here it is this is 0. Point, uh, this is 1 this is 1 this is 0. 0.6 so it we have it is 0. 0.625 somewhere around here so 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 now the curve or the graph will be somewhat like this so let me uh, arrange my position otherwise i might spoil my graph so here the graph is somewhat like this so from here i can i can i can i can draw somewhat like this like this like this like this and here i have to come from here so from here 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 so let me fix the curves properly like this like this like this like this like this like yes so i think this is a proper form of the graph so this is the nature of the graph for uh, the forces here now the second question is concerned with uh, electromagnetic induction so it says that two coils uh, c and d are placed close to one another so coil c coil d placed close to one another as shown in figure 5.2 so what you can see here is uh, here we have a source is giving some current here and here we have a voltmeter uh, in which uh, some EMF is being induced. So let me place it here. Now, 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 now. The variation with time t of the current I in the coil C is. So the variation of current here, current here is somewhat like this. Somewhat like this. So initially current is very high. Uh, current is uh, high and constant. It decreases, reverses uh, uniformly. Again, it is uh, constant, negative increases uniformly and it gets a max value somewhat like this so on figure 5.4 show the variation with time t of the emf e induced in coil d for time t equal to 0 to time t equal to 5 so we have to find the <coughs> we have to find the expression for the emf induced over here so what we have to remember is if the current is constant if the current is constant here constant here its lines of force will be expanded but constant neither increasing nor decreasing so that means the flux here will be constant so since flux is constant we will have 
So this E is equal to, this E is equal to, equal to minus d phi by dt. And this phi is proportional to the current. Phi is proportional to current. So that's why I can say what I can say is, it's equal to uh, minus d, it is ki and uh, dt. So it's equal to minus k di by dt. So that means here the current is constant. If current is constant, di by dt is 0, e should be equal to 0. So, from this time to this time, to t1 time, the emf should be 0. The emf should be 0 like this. So, since it is constant, i is constant, it's 0. Again, here also, from t2 time to t3 time, the current is again constant. So, here also, e should be 0. So, from here to here, from here to here, 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 e should be 0, e should be 0. Again here constant, so here also e should be 0, e should be 0. Now, now here what you have is the rate of the slope here, this thing is negative, this thing is negative. So that means, so e will be equal to minus k into negative, so it should be a positive quantity. From T1 to T2, it e should be a positive quantity. Positive quantity. So, certain positive quantity here. And constant. Positive, constant. And here, we have got, so here, we have di by dt is a positive, slope is positive. So, positive and negative, it e should be negative. So, in this case, we have got a negative quantity, negative quantity, and it should be constant should be constant but if i calculate the slope here the slope here is it is somewhat 20 divisions by 10 by 5 here it is uh, uh, 30 divisions by 5 so let's say here uh, it is 20 by 5 it's a 20 by uh, 5 equal to 4 slope here it is a uh, 30 by 5 5 that's equal to 6 so uh, the slope here is uh, 6 by 4 times here. So, uh, slope 1. So, slope 2 by slope 1 is equal to 6 by 4 equal to 1.5. Equal to 1.5. So, that means that the value here, the value uh, in this case, the value in this case should be 1.5 times of the value here. So, 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 let's do it here. So, it should be positive. Let us say, let us say the value is like this. Here, the value is like this. It is 10 divisions. So, the value here should be 10, 15, 1.5. So, that's why let us come up to here. So, this is a 15 minus 15. So, it rises here, rises suddenly abruptly and uh, decreases abruptly here. So, it comes like this and like this. It rises, ascends abruptly and then descends abruptly here. So this should be the nature of the graph for this question.